Travis Kalanick, Uber's brash and embattled CEO, is out. After months of pummeling bad news for Kalanick and his eight-year-old ride-hailing startup, pressure from investors in the near $70 billion company have forced Kalanick to relinquish his role. In the wake of allegations and investigations of systemic sexual discrimination at Uber as well as a series of public relations disasters and serious legal accusations, Kalanick had last week announced he would take a leave of absence. That wasn't enough for investors who worried about how quickly the company could pick itself back up and find new leadership with its founder lurking in the background. Now, Uber will be able to offer candidates for the key CEO and chief operating officer positions full control of a company with a presence in 76 countries and billions in the bank. Kalanick will retain his seat on the board along with his influential voting shares of the company's stock. What a pennant and what happens next at Uber will likely be stuff of business school case studies for years to come. Uber, despite its massive size, faces difficulties that include everything from its profitability to its legal battles with regulators and competitors. And it must reboot its culture, something that will take some time if the recommendations of an exhaustive investigation by former U.S. Attorney General Eric Holder's law firm are any indication. In a recent Time cover story, my colleague Katie Steinmetz and I framed the trouble at